as I, as I described, a motorcycle is being comfortable, but this one really is. And I'm just so used to the sport bikes, which I really enjoy. But you know, so, sometimes you just want to go for a ride. And boy, this, this is really, really nice. episode of Jay Leno's Garage. If you've been to this website before, you know I'm a huge Triumph motorcycle enthusiast. This is my 1964 Bonneville. I've had this bike something like 35 years. It's one of my all-time favorites. If you want to see the road test of this one, you can look it up on uh, YouTube here. But I haven't driven any of the new ones. You know, there are some great new Triumphs coming out, some great new Bonnevilles that I think have really captured the look and the feel of this bike. And I have a gentleman here to help us out. His name is Phil Reed Jr. His dad, of course, the great Phil Reed, great motorcycle racer. Uh, he's our Triumph guy today. Let's bring him in. Come on in. Phil, good to see you, my friend. Hey, Jay. Thanks for having me. Thanks for bringing these bikes by. You know, my wife says you guys are like drug dealers. You come and you drop <laughs> stuff off. And, well, drive it. See how you <laughs> like it. And then, no, 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 I have to buy one. And I must say, I'm, I'm very... I'm very impressed. You know, Triumph is one of those brands that when you grow up in America, you think it's an American motorcycle until you find out it's not because it's been such a big part. It's the Bonneville, it's named after an American place. Absolutely. You yeah. know, Johnny Allen was an American. Uh, Steve McQueen rode it in the Great Escape. You know, it was always the bike, you know, Fonzie had. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always been such a part of our culture. Even though it was built in England, we, we, we tend to associate it as an American brand, and, and that's why it's, it, it's kind of fun. And I'm, I'm very impressed with this one. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is the new uh, Bonneville Speedmaster. It's a 1200cc. And what we've done it really is bring forward uh, really the, the, the iconic classic lines of the Bonneville right. um, and matched it with a very laid back custom style as well. I mean, the great advantage of this bike was that it was air cooled and extremely light. The disadvantage, drum brakes, eh, not so much. Uh, and although if you knew how to service and take care of it properly, it was fine. But I can remember when I looked at them brand new, the guy telling me, you know, you don't have to take the head off for 7,000 miles. Because mm -hmm. that's what they did back in the day. You just, you decoked your head, and you took your bike apart and cleaned it. I mean, those days are long gone. This is obviously water cooled. This engine is twice the size of that engine, even though physically it's not that much bigger. You know, whilst it still retains that very iconic classic DNA, it is uh, really full of modern rider aids, right. such as, uh, as you mentioned, the, the carb look uh, right. throttle bodies, which are full ride by wire. Because much like myself, this bike's just a little bit bigger, a little bit wider than it was <laughs> in the day. Yeah. But unlike me, it's much faster and can stop quicker. So, and, and that's, what's, that's, that's what's really good. But I love the fact that they've, this to me is the classic look of an English motorcycle. I mean, is I like my Vincents and my Bruff Superiors and whatnot, mm -hmm. but, but the parallel twin, the speed twin, going back to 1938, I mean, to me, it's the most compact, best handling. This bike is so much fun mm -hmm. to ride, but obviously, you've got the drum brakes and a few of the other things that don't, I just love it. I love it to this day, and, and that's why I'm so fascinated by these. Tell us, now this is the Speedmaster, right? That's correct. That's the new uh, Bonneville Speedmaster. Okay. Um, and the, uh, really the ambition for this was to bring forward all of that classic Bonneville DNA right. and then give it um, a very laid back cruiser attitude as well. Right, right. Because I notice a, a tire, smaller wheel, bigger tire. Correct. So it runs on the 16 inch uh, spoke wheel right. as well. And, uh, and aside from it having you know, those very uh, iconic Bonneville details, it is full of uh, contemporary rider aids and technology. So we have 1200cc, it's a single overhead cam, right. eight valve, and it is liquid cooled. Right. Um, and which they do a very good job of, of really masking and hiding any of that plumbing. Now the liquid cooling, it's not just oil, it's cooling it as well. It's, yeah. It's, a, it's an actual radiator. Actual radiator, okay. yeah. And it's very elegantly tucked away in the front. Yeah, there. they do a nice job. And what's the horsepower? So it produces 77 horsepower at 6,100 RPM. Okay. Um, and with that as well, this is our high torque engine, so it produces 78 foot-pounds of torque at only 4,000 RPM as well. Well, you know, this is only 45 horsepower, and it feels and pulls incredibly well, mm -hmm. and, you know, it does 100 miles an hour. So I'm anxious to drive. I haven't driven one of the new ones, so I'd like to try it. How is this different than the regular Bonneville? I think it has a, 
like, as you mentioned, smaller wheel, bigger tire. It has a, and it has a whole new frame over the Bonneville. Uh, so the T120, the modern T120, this is a whole new chassis uh, that you'll see. And whereas you'll see on the, the Bonnevilles, you have the, the twin rear shock. Right. Uh, the Speedmaster has what's like a very authentic looking hardtail look. Right. But underneath the seat is the linkage and the suspension. So if you've got a monoshock. There's a there. monoshock and you get two and a half, eight, two point eight inches of travel. Okay. Uh, which is uh, class leading in terms of comfort. And uh, and you've got uh, fuel injection that look like Amo carburetors. They do, yeah. And these are um, full ride by wire as well. Right. Which what that means, it gives you the opportunity to have different fueling maps for road and rain. Um, also controls the traction control system. And you also have uh, cruise control with okay. that as well, which is delivered through this very elegant single button. Yeah. And you just push to activate, set your speed on, and uh, there you go. See, I would just like to have been in that meeting with you. We're going to put on a fuel injection that looks like an AMO carburetor because they know their audience. They know that's what the audience likes. Even people who know nothing about no motorcycles know this iconic look. And a Triumph would look odd with something other than that, you know? No, that's, that's, yeah. that's what I love. That's what I love. I mean, the intent with this was to create a very clean looking, uh, using that very iconic Bonneville silhouette, yeah. uh, so that you can almost look through the engine. You see it has the, uh, the machine engine fins and the, um, the straight look um, exhaust headers as well. Now, these are double skinned, so whilst they appear as if they're running straight through to the muffler, right. the gases do divert to a catalytic converter underneath the engine. Oh, that's nice. And then back in yeah. through the muffler. And you realize this engine is twice the size of that engine. That's 650 cc's, this is 1200 cc's, correct? correct. Yes. So almost twice as big. And when I was a kid, the Bonneville, I remember there used to be a, uh, a tag on the gas tank said for the expert rider only, <laughs> because you got the, the twin carburetors. You know? right, I remember okay. being 16, having never been on a motorcycle in my life, but expert rider, well, that's me. Yeah, I, I want to buy one of those because I'm an expert. I've never ridden one before, but I'm sure I'd be an expert if I was. You know? So that's, I mean, you're dealing with an engine that's twice the size. And what does this weigh? It's 541 pounds. Oh, okay. That's right. um, but it carries its weight very low as well. Yeah, like me. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So from that, you get, you know, Triumphs sort of known very precise and neutral handling. Yeah. You know, we tend to be visual people, and, and it's the look that sells it. It's the look that gets them in there. So if the bike is half as good as it looks, you're probably going to buy it, you know? I remember I have a Triumph back there. It was that three-cylinder deal, the 2.3 yes. liter. Mm -hmm. The Rocket 3. Rocket 3, mm -hmm. uh, the later one, though, the second generation yes. Rocket 3. And it's powerful, it's fast, but it looks the engine looks like a Ferguson tractor. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that successful because I think the looks the looks sort of put people off, you know. This, they've done the classic Triumph look which, that appeals to people. I think that's right, and I think the, the success of, you know, uh, of the new Bonneville range, the whole range, is that it, it stays true to its heritage, it brings that forward, it adds some modernity in terms of rider technology as well. Um, and then also there's the sound engineering. Right. So that this is designed so that when you're sat in the bike, you're surrounded by a bubble of sound. You have that very rich baritone right. uh, from the 270 degree 1200cc engine. And of course, you have twin discs up front. Twin discs with ABS right. as well. And also as well is, is, this, um, is this clock. So it has the, the standard speedometer. Right. And it's multifunction LCD as well, which you can adjust through a single button. I got Which you. gives you all of your trips. And what are these and two gauges here? So those are just additional ones you can add on to show temperature and time. And they're oh, just I see. Little, uh, oh, it's little just a clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're just, just little bolt-on bits. I'm saying, it looks like it's saying 20 after 8. Well, yeah. A typical English cock, it's only off by about four and a half It depends hours. what country yeah. you're in. It depends yes. what country you're in. Apparently <laughs> this is still in England <laughs> at the time. No, boy, it's great looking. And what colors does this come in? Is this, uh, so we have this, this one here, and th this one here is our, is our premium color that also is um, hand-painted coach lines as well. Right, right. And, the, and the, the coach liner will sign the underside of the tank as well. We have a, a jet black one. Yeah. Uh, and then we have this, uh, and this color here, the Morello. Okay. Color here. So these are all basically the same bike. This is the single model without any bags. So, this has got saddle Yeah, bags. so how they come is, um, you know, they're de really designed for uh, a lot of flexibility in terms of the seating. Right. So they're really easy to remove as we've done here. You can remove the passenger seat and the right. grab rest to give a much more And this is now, this is the look. standard bar now, which is very, you know, I, I always, I'm such a sucker for the cafe look. I buy it, and then after half hour, ah, my shoulder, yeah. ow, ow. 
you know, this is actually quite, this is actually quite nice. Yeah, this is the new, what we call the beach bar, which yeah. gives it that, uh, that cruiser feel. And that's matched with these feet forward pegs as well. And with the low seat height of 28 inches, you have that very sort of sitting in, uh, very laid back attitude. Yeah, no, this is quite nice, actually. Here we go. Five speed or six speed? Six speed. Oh, OK, yeah. there you go. Very nice. See what she sounds like. I'm right here. So this one there, clutch in, and that button just hold down the red. Oh. And sounds good. And ABS, as you said. Yep. So you can see the, uh, the, the revs here. Well, we'll take it for a ride in just yeah. a minute. Do you have a, uh, a center stand as well, just a side stand? Just a side stand okay. for this one. Um, and you would have noticed with the, the ignition key being on the side, right. and it just keeps this very clean, right. very clean and classic look. Do you have tire, tire pressure warning as well? No, no, no okay. not on this okay. one. Very nice. So each cylinder really is almost the size of that twin. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and what's interesting in this as well with the, what's the fuel injection, ride by wire, uh, liquid cooling, it makes a very fuel efficient engine. Right. So now you can get around 170 miles range of the tank um, and again, that depends how hard you want to ride it. It's right, the right. expert rider. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm not the expert <laughs> rider, but uh, yeah, no, but it's great. It's great. Now, I, I love the fact that it just looks like a new version of that bike. I mean, that bike is 50 years old. And it, even 50 years ago, it was mm. just about the perfect bike. Yeah, mm. and I, th I think with this as well is, is that, you know, we've designed it in a way because often people need more than one motorcycle. They're right. going to do tours one day, go to the coffee shop the other. Right. So we provide over 130 accessories. So we, we do a, what we call a highway kit, which gives you right. a high screen, uh, the passenger seat with the backrest and the bags, if you want the touring look. See, I just like to buy more motorcycles. <laughs> there's, there's 160 motorcycles here. So that's what I kind of do. You know, so, but the, yeah, you could do it but that for way. For the too. rest of us, we yeah, have to yeah, just no, mainly no, I stick you, with I got one. You. No, cool, cool. Well, I'd love to take her for a ride. Can we take her for a spin? Yeah, spend? absolutely. Let's do it. Cool, cool. Let's do it. All right. OK. Whenever I look at new bikes, I look at the standard model, then I look at the cafe model, then I look at the touring model. I always get seduced by the cafe model, you know, with the low bars and you're leaning forward. Then I get one, and after about a half hour, my shoulder hurts, or I'm just bent over, and it's really not comfortable. You know, I'm convinced this is the perfect riding position. This thing, it's like riding a big easy chair. You know, your the bars are big enough and long enough so that you can control the bike easily. You know, and uh, it's extremely comfortable. It's not a lot of pressure on your shoulders. You're not down here. You know, a lot of times with cafe bikes, you gotta be going 70, 80 miles an hour for the wind to hold you up to take the strain off your arm. Whereas this thing is, boy, it's just, it's really nice. All kinds of torque, all kinds of bottom end. I know it's only 77 horsepower, but with this torque, it feels like it's 100 or maybe 105, 110, something like that. And you've got a lot of rubber on the road with these big tires, you know? So they, they cushion it, the ride, quite a bit. Incredibly smooth, 
you get no vibration. The mirrors never blur for even a, a second, even as you get high up in the rev range. You can always see perfectly clearly. I'm very tempted by this motorcycle. The sound is very appealing, very nice, not too loud. As I said before, it sounds like an aftermarket exhaust system. So you only allow so many decibels, and the rest of the engine is so quiet that they can put all the uh, all the effort into uh, making the exhaust a little bit louder. And when you're in sixth gear at 60 miles an hour, the revs drop to about 2,300, 2,200. So there was no vibration before, but it's even less than that now. If that makes any sense. And these big tires really make for a, a comfortable ride. As much as I like my sport bikes, this is the new normal. Because it's sporty, yet it's, again, extremely comfortable. Well. I really enjoyed this ride. You know, I keep saying it's a comfortable bike. And, uh, you know, it's fun to go tearing through the canyons and the sports bikes down here. But then, you know, sometimes you just want to go for a ride. And this is like the best Sunday morning bike ride I've, uh, bike I've seen, actually. Really fast, really sporty. It's not a big cruiser. It's comfortable. It's not like a big touring bike where you sort of, you know, on a, on a sofa bed. It's just, it's firm, yet it, it handles nice. You know, it's been 35 years since I got a Bonneville, and it's probably time I should get another one. Maybe, I kind of like this bike. You know what that means? The next time I get one, I'll be 103. Man, I don't know. I like this bike. Yeah, you may see me riding one of these. See you guys next week. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs>